Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to I Just Want To Be Single. Which is a game where you just want to be single, but you're stuck in a dating sim. So this is gonna be very hard. Read right to left. Hmm, just like my Japanese animes. Fud. Fud. I'm a sound effect, how you doing? Quickly! Find her! Where is she? I think I saw her over there. Behind the water fountain. Why is this happening to me? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Found you! Eek. You're mine now. Uh, I am. You don't mind me asking a few questions, right? I do. Oh god, she's asking me questions. Save! I don't like answering questions. What if she wants to know how my, my day was, or... Or what my favorite color is. It's too much pressure. What are you spacing out for, huh? Crap. Quick, quick think of something to say. Um, what do you mean? You heard me. You trying to act cute or something? Because it's working. What's your name? My name, um, it's... Type your name. I mean, I saw a name there. Why would I type anything? My name is Manly. Manly? Do you happen to be all- What? What? Exactly. Sorry, that was a strange thing to ask. Actually, wait, that's not my name. I'm gonna see if this works. My name is What Is Your Name? What is your name? You're sure this time? Wait, not that one either. Think, think your name is... Oh, look, it's giving me hints like, hey, yeah, no, by the way, just type that in. No, my name isn't that girl from Mad Father. Think, Aya. It's right in front of you. My name is... Aya. That's it. My name is Aya. That looked like it took more effort than it should have. It's been a long day. It's literally the start of the day. Oh. Still. Aya, huh? That's an interesting name. <laughs> you know what's not interesting? Your face, because you don't have one. You're a void. My name isn't that funny. I don't think so, at least. Anyway, uh, I just remembered I need to get to class. See you around. You're not going anywhere. Uh, I mean, I don't need to get to class. I'm staying right here. I have more questions to ask, and you're going to answer them whether you like it or not. I, well, I'm not going to like it. Great. What the? Answer questions. Besides, shouldn't we get to know each other a bit more? Cutie. Um. Cutie. Wait, is she talking about me? Type what Aya is thinking. Yes or no. So is it like... I can only type yes or no, or can I just, like, type anything I want? So, for can I just type this? Hello, Earth to Aya, I'm still talking to you. Yes, ma'am. I know everyone, so you must be new here. Where did you transfer from? Okay, let's reload. Although, it did have a reaction, though. Let's take note of that. It's just, I'm gonna type a no. No, it's fine. She's probably talking to someone else. Hold on, I'm the only other person here. Hello, Earth to Aya, I'm still talking to you. Yes, ma'am. I know everyone. So you must be new here. Where'd you transfer from? What does she want to know that? I don't feel good about this. Why can't say old school? Can't say. This makes me mysterious and cool. Uh, I'm not allowed to say that. Huh? Why not? If this max is out to heart, do I, like, die? Oh, no. I think I'm just digging my own grave at this point. Quick, Aya, think of something. Huh? Why not? Secret? Dark past? Wizarding school? 
Secret. I can't give away the information. Um, uh, secret agent. What, really? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa, that's awesome. Um, yeah, let's just keep it between us, okay? That's so cool. I can't believe you're a secret agent. This would just be Full Metal, uh... It's not Full Metal Jacket. It's, um... Full Metal Panic. Full Metal Panic. Shh. Oh, sorry. That's so cool, though. She bought that. I'm more exhausted. What more does she want to know? Or better yet, why? Oh, I don't know. What do you think about me? Um, I don't really think much. No clue. Wait, that won't work. Um, I don't really know. Huh? Why not? That just, that didn't help. How come you don't know, know what you think about me? Wasn't thinking. I wasn't really thinking anything at all. Really? Nothing at all? No. Not even a little bit? Sorry. Is it just me or she looking at me kind of weird? Was it something I said? Alright, cutie. Cutie. I'm gonna ask you a very important question. You need to answer like your life depends on it. Are you ready? No. What do you think of my outfit for today? Are you wearing an outfit? You could be not wearing an outfit for all I know. I wouldn't be able to tell. Very black. Well, it's certainly a lot of black. Oh, so you think I'm a god for something now? Technically, that would be an improvement. No, I mean, unless that's what you're going for. Um, What am I to you? Some vague black silhouette of a high school girl? My patience is growing thin. Good. Oh no, did I make her upset? Maybe I'm just misreading the situation. That's gotta be it. I am so upset with you right now. I am definitely not misreading the situation. You don't really seem to care about me at all, do you? No, because I'm Batman. You just view me as the same tr- <laughs> you just view me as the same as trash on the sidewalk, don't you? Just like your soul. What, what, what? No, that's not... You do. Admit it. You're wrong. Oh yeah? We'll prove it. What's my name then? Um, well, it's... Random girl? Random girl? You... You remembered. Is that, is that actually your name? It, are you it, are you like of the black silhouette species? I'm just, I'm just you know in the wrong here. You remember my name? Ah, that sells it. It's time to make it official. Uh oh, official. Please, you don't have to do this. I do though. Otherwise, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh jeez, what did I ever do to deserve this? I've never seen this girl in my life. I'll just avoid- I'm still not seeing her, technically. I'll just avoid eye contact. That usually works. No sudden movements. Don't provoke. Speak gently. Hopefully I'll appear less threatening. More so than I already am. Like a small animal. About to be eaten. What are you muttering on about? Eh? Oh no. I made eye contact. Somewhere. Her fiery eyes are sucking me in. I hear her hand slap against- Oh, she's doing the, um... Was it Cabadon? I th I might be saying that wrong. I'm not sure. I hear her slim hand. <laughs> I hear her hand slap against the wall beside me. I flinch, eyes shooting open. All right, that's it. I've had it. You forced me to do this, so you better take responsibility. I close my eyes and brace for impact. Game over. Please go out with me! Huh? Did I hear that right? Her face is flushed red now... And though she's nervous, she doesn't seem any less imposing. What's going on? Is this a joke or... No, she seems oddly serious. Is Random Girl gonna have a route? Is she, is she just gonna look like this? She's like, oh, do you like what I wore to the date? Yeah! 
your kids come out. Oh, you know what? You know what your kids would come out looking like. There was a um, there was a I think it was on the DS. There was a game, and everyone was just black silhouettes wearing clothes. Feel the magic. I looked it up as, as feel the magic. Daisuke this. What? I'm really getting a confession right now. Why is this happening all of a sudden? Me? Nothing about me stands out. It might just be the most perfect girl I've ever laid my eyes on. No, anyone's ever laid their eyes on. Daisuke. Eh? You like me? Daisuke this. No, that's not right. I think... I think... I love you. I just tear you. This is all a bit sudden, isn't it? I mean, we only just learned each other's names. It was love at first sight. Aya, will you go out with me? Can we say yes? Yeah, that's a secret option. Because see, you turn green, right? Because look, you put in manly, nothing happens. No, you barely know me as like, it's the guideline answer, quotation mark. Maybe? No, we can't do yes. We can do yes and no, but not maybe. Can't do, I don't know. And you can't do it, can you repeat the question? I'm gonna say yes. I mean, it's safe. Huh? What's that? You well? I knew you'd say yes. La la la. Married together. Forever. Did I get a bad end? And that's how I got married and settled down with a girl I barely knew and had 13 kids. Nice. Pretty short story, huh? Well, that's just how things go when you do things on a whim. I'd like to think about what would have happened if I just said what I wanted to say back then. Oh well. This is my life now. Wake up! Huh, what? I'm still talking to you. Wait, 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 wait. was that a vision of the future? If the Aya uh, answer my question. Oh, right. Yes? Huh, what's that, you will? I knew you'd say yes again. Are yeah, we gonna be stuck in a perpetual loop? Where it's, uh... Yeah. We always get sent back, because it's a time paradox. You barely know me. Wait, you barely know anything about me. Are you sure about all this? Yes. Oh, could you be a little less sure about it? No. Oh, alright. I knew from the first moment you said manly that we were destined to be- Wait, what? That we were destined to be together. But manly isn't even my name. I know. And it was so cute that you messed it up. I'm not looking to date. I'm not really looking to date right now. Oh, I see. Uh, you understand? I do. Whew, that was close. My heart is still racing. I understand. That's good. I understand completely. You're not gonna kill me, are you? I kinda play a lot of games where I've been murdered. I'm glad. Because clearly... We should skip straight to marriage! Okay. I had ever plans for when I graduate, but forget about all that, I'm marrying you instead. No, no, go back to school. We're gonna get married, right? Yes? No, you can't say yes this time. Please help me. Please help me. Irene. Huh, what's that, you well? I knew you'd say yes. Married together. Forever. Oh no, she seems serious. It's not gonna end well if I let her get carried away like this. I don't want to get married right now. It's okay, Aya. You just need to turn her down. Put out the fire early. That was something you should have done a long time ago. Hey, um, we'll live in a beautiful house together and go on our honeymoon. You'll cook me dinner and... Oh, oh no. It's just what happens to people like other people too much. Nothing I say seems to matter. I need to be careful not to let this happen. I don't want people to fall in love with me. But I don't want them to hate me either. How do I make a balance so that they don't like me too much or too little? 
Oh, I'm too introverted for all of this. And we'll live in a beautiful house with 13 kids. Oh yeah, it's a prophecy. She's too far gone. I gotta get out of here fast. Just like my hero, Sanic. Objective, escape from this woman. I can't breathe. I have to get away. Anywhere but here. I need to think of a way to distract her, but how? Um, over there! Manly! Where? Hi, how you doing? I'm, I'm literally- I'm technically in front of you, by the way, not behind you. Hey, where'd you go? I spin away as fast as I can while she's looking the other way. Trust me, this works in real life, too. Just yell out manly, you'll get away every time. Sir, have you been pirating anime? We're the anti-anime SWAT force. It's like, oh, um, uh, good day, officer. Uh, manly. It's like, oh, well, where is he? That cool YouTuber that I'm subscribed to. I should, everyone else should subscribe to today. You know, and you get away, right? <sighs> uh, how did this happen to me? Let's rewind a bit. This story starts a long way back. In the land before time, way back to the beginning. It was such a long time ago, I barely even remember it. When you say... Why, it was this morning. A new day, a new school. All the way there, I sort of just wish I could just never arrive. Plenty of people get lost in the first day, right? I guess not. My first steps are slightly off kilter, not only because of my shaking knees, but also because I'm not exactly sure where to look as I walk. I'm getting the uncanny feeling that everyone is looking my way. Am I being paranoid? Maybe this was all a terrible idea. I rub the back of my neck, painfully aware of how exposed it feels. This just might be the coldest April I've experienced in a while. The closer I get to school, the more I see other people wearing the same uniform as me. Am I one of them now? It's weird to think that I'm now a student at a prestigious school. Well, Love Love All Girls High School was as prestigious as a school can be around these parts. And a prestigious school means prestigious students. Looking around, uniform felt similar or rich ones look so much more imposing when worn by someone else. Somebody else, technically. Same thing. I hope they don't think I'm weird. I didn't really get to make any friends in my previous school. Unless I want the same thing to happen here, or worse, I have to make sure I give a good impression. Gambate, me. Before I can turn tail and run all the way back home, I clutch the door handle again. This classroom's the one. I take a deep breath and cross my fingers. Here goes nothing. So many... Lack of eyes, and they're all staring right at me, I think. My eyes flick down to check that I'm not in my pajamas or something. Nope, everything's there. I close the door behind me and bow apologetically. As I scan the room for an empty seat, is it going to be like the second one from the back, near the window? The homeroom teacher turns around from the chalkboard. Ah, you must be the new transfer student. Nice to meet you. Why don't you introduce yourself to the class? Go on. Don't be shy. I... I'm... Um, relax. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Why is it color-coded? Say what you want to say, no matter how intense it is. Type here and hold the button for intensity. Hmm. I better not mess this up. I need to make a good impression. I need to say my name and make sure I'm saying it with enough confidence. Okay, yeah, there has to be something that gets accepted. Maximum power! Goku! You can't say it that loud! The whole planet's gonna blow! <laughs> my... Now, did you read my computer for that one, or is this just referencing my earlier thing? 
My name is Manly Badass Zero. How you doing? No, wait, I meant, I meant... My name, my name is... Aya. Ah, oh no, I think I said it too loud. This whole game is just gonna be a Manly Badass Zero reference. Unintentionally, whether or not. Dead silence. Was that a shadow forming on everyone's faces? Did I say something stupid? Is there something on... On my face? Or it's perhaps I actually have a face. The tension in the room is gripping at my throat. With each passing second, the air is slowly sucked out of the room. Oh, I can't breathe. I'm going to die. Is this how it all ends? Is this how my story ends? I guess that's it for me. I won't be able to find any friends at this school. I know that feel. I'll be alone. Again. Oh, people are actually nice in this world. Hmm. That's how you know it's fiction. Everyone bursts in and cheers. Huh? What's going on? Why did you transfer? Where are you from? Look, people are actually interested in me. When's your birthday? You look like a Scorpio to me. Would she prefer, Coke or Pepsi? Dr. Pepper, what's two plus two? Two. Because one, two, like, counteracts the other one. Because they have to fight to the death. Standard math. Volleys of questions come flying at me, and I'm frozen in place. Alright, alright, settle down. Let the transfer student breathe. Teacher patted my shoulder. I finally exhaled. How did I not pass out from that? But yeah, going back... So this is something, I'm just curious how they program this. So... If a game reads my computer, it's always gonna pull up manly. Badass here or whatever. Cause that's where my computer is... That's my account thing or whatever. Um, but did it activate a special manly mode? Cause I put manly in at the start, so like... It's got some programming finger and it says, Alright, activate manly. It wouldn't be the first game to do that. Uh, there's been some old horror games, even from years ago, that used to do stuff like that. Transferring schools is always stressful. I hope you'll adjust in time. Okay, I want something to show Aya around the school during lunch. If you want to volunteer, please raise your... Almost immediately, every hand in the room is in the air. This is this is fiction right here. Looks a silent desperate... <laughs> oh, man. Looks a silent desperate pleading dart across the class. All right, then. I guess I should just have to pick someone. How about... Miss Class Rep? Do you have a face? You do have a face. Hello there. It would be my pleasure, sir. Don't call me sir. I'm not that old. Reluctantly, everyone lowers their hands. Quiet grumbles and complaints were tossed around about how they would have been a better guide. I hope you two become fast friends. Friends? Was such a thing really possible? Was I allowed to be friends with someone just like that? Come sit next to me, Aya. She motions towards an empty desk next to her, and I scurry to occupy it. I can sense some intense glares of killing intent behind my back. I'm getting the feeling that people don't seem to like me very much. Oh no. Oh no, it's a different spectrum than that. Nice to meet ya. Oh, um, likewise. The first homeroom of the year starts, and I'm relieved that I don't have to make eye contact with people anymore. I'm also relieved that some people here actually have, like, detailed art, and aren't just black silhouettes. This is a water fountain. Yeah. That's a storage area. Yeah. This is the restroom. Out here, in the bushes. I did my best to nod along as Katie continued with her tour of the school. This is never water fountain. Yeah. There's attention to detail. And then there's this. I force a smile. I hope I don't offend my first friend at this school by appearing ungrateful. Are you alright, I- I- uh, Is something wrong? Oh, um, no. Not really. I'm- I'm fine. I get it. Transferring schools must be hard, right? I should make a save. Excellent. I can't control myself. It's honestly been really, 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 really. Really, 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 really. Really, 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 really. Stressful. I just hope it's not showing too much. You know, 
My stress and all. No, I would have never guessed. That's good. Well, in any case, I know this school like the back of my hand, so I'll make sure you're prepared for the absolutely anything. Um, that is, if you're happy with me being your tour guide. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, the way she's looking at me, I guess she wants me to say something. I better be careful what I say if I don't want to hurt her feelings. Or get her hopes up. So are you excited or... Oh no. So before I go ahead, I just want to show something here, because I'm not sure what this does. There's something called VTuber mode. Let's see. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it gives you, um... It lets you put your VTuber mall on the left there. Interesting. They were prepared for the modern era. Are you excited for the tour? Do I act mean? I don't really want to act mean. Of course. Of course I am. I'm really looking forward to it. Besides, you seem really knowledgeable and fun. Oh, no one's ever really commented, complimented me like that before. Especially to say that I'm fun. Thanks, Aya. I hope this can be the start of something memorable. Oh, wow. That seems to have really gotten our spirits up really fast, too. Maybe I should, like, max out the hearts first, and then, like, reload, and just... I think that's what we're gonna do. I'll make sure to make this tour an unforgettable experience for you. She also seems even more excited now. Wait a minute. Now she might have really high expectations for me. Why don't we start with that tour? Ah, okay, so it's not locked in one thing like the initial thing. It's gonna be spread out over our encounter with her. Oh, of course. And what better way to start the tour than with some trivia? I regret everything. Since you're new, let's start with the basics. Do you know our school's name? It's something like Doki Doki Love Love? Wasn't it Love Love High? Close, but no, Love Love High is our rival school. How did we become rivals? Our principal may or may not have sworn revenge on their principal. Oh, I see. A breakup, huh? It's a whole big thing, but what matters is that the team you're rooting for is the Love Love All Girls High School. So... I... It, does Dash matter? For getting an incorrect answer, you're now a ne negative one tour points. Oh no. Do my tour points get tell up for some kind of funnel grade? Maybe. Oh, great. On with the tour. So I just check out some menu options. There is a difficulty thing, and I'm like... Like, what's the number of options mean? Oh, God. I can't see anything, sir! Captain! The options are gone! I actually removed all my options and like them back, please. But... Thank you. I just got an achievement. Oh, thank God they're back. And this is the right- Wait, what's this? Nope, it still doesn't do anything. It's got another achievement. Intermediate Expert Master. Harmon activated. You've been officially registered as a masochist. P.S. Sorry, we ran out of time and budget to add this feature so it doesn't actually do anything. You still get the achievement. I will take it away from you later when you least expect it. Wait, what? Let's put it at master, right? I want to just see, like, does this make this bar here different? No, it seems to just be the same. Well, maybe it's really difficult. doesn't do anything, period. Hmm. It's Love Love All Girls High School, right? That's exactly right. It's a bit of an odd name, but it has a storied history. Why is the name odd? You're joking, right? You know what? Don't overthink it too much. Since you got the answer right, you get one tour point. Oh, can I redeem the tour points for anything? Nope, they're just for fun. Tour fun. Oh. On with the tour. Well, here is our first stop. The short, sharp squeaks of sneakers on the gym floor fill the air as a handful of students play basketball. Right, the gym. Are you alright? You seem nervous. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just not a big fan of P.E. Oh, I understand. I'm not very athletic myself. 
Well, you're tall. You probably get picked first for the volleyball, at least. That doesn't really mean that person's talented at sports. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not very, um, coordinated. Sometimes when I jump to hit the ball, I accidentally bump into the other girls. That doesn't sound so... After the third time, I broke someone's toe by landing on their foot. I'm not allowed to play volleyball anymore. Oh. Besides, Akane's the one who always gets picked first. Who? Oh, Akane. The one in red out there. Akane is a team ace. Of the basketball team? All of them. All of them? All of the club teams, from basketball to track and field, swing the judo, and a few more. All of them. Well, maybe except the chess team and the debate team. Those go to someone else because they're not really sports. But yeah, all the sport teams. Seriously? Yep. They call her the Red Beast. Sounds like a Bloodborne name. She holds every athletic record. She's on every team. And she's never lost a game. What the... Oh my god, it's the Chaos Dunk. A student sitting by the base of the basketball hoop with a fire extinguisher quickly puts out for practice ease. Did she really just set the hoop on fire? Yeah, you never seen Space Jam? Or played all those, like, old games on the Super Nintendo? The basketball from Akane's dunk hit the ground so hard, it bounced back up nearly to the roof. When it came down again, it hit the edge of the bleachers and ricocheted. Now I had directly in my face. Wait a minute. What? I braced myself for the impact. Or rather, flinch ineffectually. But it never comes. You all right. I peer around her and see she's holding the ball. And for a moment, I think I see a wisp of smoke coming off her hands. Oi, you hear me? Oh, sorry. Yes, I mean, yes, I hear you. Not yes, I, I'm all right, but I'm all right too. Um, also, ma'am. Hey, you look pretty shaken up there. Are you okay? I'll be okay after I make a save point. Gonna mess this up. Full power, Koku! I'm totally fine. Nothing wrong at all. You seem to be breathing kind of heavily. Nope, no problems. No need for everyone to be. I realize I'm hyperventilating and now all the eyes in the chamber are fixed on me. Worried? Well, you've got spirit. I give you that much. Everyone knows an athlete's power comes from the breath. It only makes sense to want to take in as much oxygen as possible. Even if your methods are a bit... odd. I can't tell if this is a good thing or a bad thing. So, out of all the ones at least I saw on the store page for this, um, without knowing their personalities, I was most interested in Akane. Just because, like, the shark teeth. It looks like they got, like, a little bit of bite personality-wise, too. Um, pun not intended. So, I generally like the more aggressive characters. That's just my thing. Anyways, I'm glad you're alright. What's your name, new kid? Oh, my name is Aya. Aya. That's a good name. Easy to remember. Thanks. I'm giving her a tour of all our facilities. Except maybe the boiler room. We don't go in the boiler room. And some of the janitor's closets. Oh, and I'm not sure if it's worth showing her the teacher's parking lots. But if we look at those... 
Well, Kaede looks like she's gonna be occupied for a minute. Say, are you planning to join any of the new sports teams? We're always looking to recruit more people. Joining a team? Already? I don't even know my schedule yet. And I also don't want to disappoint her. What if I say something dumb or overcommit? I love sports! Well, yes, I love the sports and sport balls. Score some goals, England. Come on, England. I love sports balls. I'm totally doomed. <laughs> I admire the enthusiasm. Really? Yeah, it's important to have things you're passionate about. Skills aren't everything. Out there on the field, sometimes it matters more what's in your heart than your skills as a player. What's happening? This happens every time she does an inspiring pep talk. Following that voice in your heart, your dream, that's the real goalpost we should all run towards. Yeah, enough of the speeches. We talked it over and we want a sixth player. All right. Yeah, I'd probably be more balanced. Yeah, see? Kane's the best. Oh, I realized in all this commotion, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Akane. I'm the captain of... Actually, I already knows what teams you're a captain of because she has an A-plus tour guide. Isn't that right? Why would you put me on the spot like this? Um, yeah, you're the captain of... Everything? Captain of everything? I am generally not sure I should be offended or flattered. Um, I had just misspoke because she's flustered. Of course she knows she's the captain of all the sports teams. Phew, that's a close call. Well, all the teams. I'm surprised you know that. I could use some of that kind of attention to detail to help me break down my plays. That means we could have gotten a star with, uh... The girl giving us the tour too earlier, probably. As if you need to be any better at sports. Oh, it's nothing really. It's not every day I get a team player stumbling in my gym. Let me know if you ever want to train together. Wait, do I look like I train? Not yet, you don't. I'm sure we could whip you into shape of some one on one in a montage. We could do the weightlifting, then a 10k, and then dunk practice. Maybe, um, grab protein shakes or something like that, you know? I feel like this isn't the best time to explain what happened the last time I drank a protein shake. Just spitballing ideas here. Oh, well, I'm sure I would love to hear all these ideas after she finishes her tour with her new confidant. Confidant? Let's go, Aya. We've got places to be. Right. Thanks again for everything, by the way. Bye! Grab protein shakes or something like that. What is wrong with me? It's okay. I thought it worked. And this is the home economics classroom. Yeah, it looks like it to me. All dark and gloomy. Um, it's really dark. Why are the blinds closed? Oh, that's because they don't do home economic classes until after lunch. Not since the Newell incident of 87. The what? You know, the bite. I hear a wet, squelching, popping sound. What was that? There's a heavy, meaty funk, then another. What was that? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe we should ask. Her? Her who? You shouldn't be here. Unless you want to lose a limb. I'll have to make sure you don't tell anyone. Oh god, please don't kill me. What did you just say? Um, oh god, please don't kill me? You're scaring her, Katsumi. Here, let me turn the lights on. Look, I'm just a normal person with a bloody knife. See? Nothing to fear. Ah, there. Much better. Don't worry, Aya. This is Katsumi. She's, well, uh, I guess not harmless per se. Um, anyway, 
I was just giving Aya here a tour of the school. Aya, is it? I see. My, my, aren't you just adorable? Um... Um, why do you have blood all over you? Me. Oh, this? This is just animal blood. Oh, thank God. Yes, those pigs. Those human pigs. Well, technically at least. Yeah, <laughs> I see we're on the same page. See? See, I know this stuff. Fun fact. Humans are animals, technically. Um, yes, I suppose they are. I'm cutting up dead bodies. What? Yesterday we learned how to carve a chicken. The teacher said I was too aggressive. I got an A minus. That's simply unacceptable. So I'm practicing before the practical exam by cutting up bodies. Chicken bodies. Chickens, okay, whew, that's... Yes. Chickenish humans. Wait, what are you doing in the dark? If the lights were on, people would come in to find out why. What do you think I was doing? Um, nothing, nothing at all. Uh... Don't worry. It's not like I'm murdering people in the home economics room. I murdered them in the alley. Uh, I'm glad. There'd be nowhere to get rid of the bodies. True. You gotta do it in the boiler room. Quick access to the fire. Wait, then, if we're just cutting up chickens... What was that about making sure we didn't tell anyone? Oh! That. It's really a shame, after all. We only just met, and yet... I'm gonna have to silence you. Don't worry. This won't hurt one bit. Oh god, you're really gonna kill me. I'll give you each $36,250 if you keep this a secret. That's a very specific number. $36,250 this time. You're feeling pretty generous today, Katsumi. I told you Bunny is the strongest power. My apologies. That's the only leftover spare change I have for today. I know. It almost makes me feel like I'm poor. Like you over there. Oh, wait. That's not a joke. You're actually gonna give us that much money? Katsumi never jokes around when it comes to money. I come from a wealthy family. I see. Hmm. You have money. I did like the other one. But you do have money. Hmm. Besides, I have a reputation to maintain. If people knew I got an A-, I would never live it down. No problem. We can keep us- Shut up, Kairi! So, about that money. So, were you interested in learning some home EC? Maybe fancy yourself the domestic type. Alright, Aya. You can make a good impression. Just take your time and speak from the heart. Make sure to answer promptly. Otherwise, I'll have to start using this knife. To slash prices. To get back to cutting, of course. Never mind. I need to answer as fast as humanly possible. I'm not sure why you're worried about the knife. They got a lot of money. They can just murder you with money. Wait, just time! Oh. Breadwinner. Breadwinner, you say? I do have a weakness for working women. Just the thought of being someone who works in an office. The fancy suit. The refined collar. I would kill to be with someone like that. Are you Patrick Bateman? Could kill? It's just a figure of speech. Phew. Until it's not. <laughs> you guys me start comparing cards. I don't like the way she's looking at me. I've always fancied myself a bit of a homemaker. You, uh, definitely seem like, uh, a homie type. Ah, oh, I'm glad you think so. But truth be told, I don't have one to make a home with. Still woefully single after all these years. Turns out you just can't buy love with money. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? 
I'm just not paying enough. What about you? If you just transferred here, does that mean you're single? Um... I'm actually very single. Like, oh god. Oh, so forward. I like that. No, I'm more meant that I've liked being single. Till now. I'm flattered. More like I'm not looking to date anyone else. We've only just met. But if you're so sure that I'm so much better than everyone else... This is going terribly. I think Aya's trying to say she's waiting to see if she meets the right person. Oh, I know. I just like watching her squirm. Haha! <laughs> hmm. I wonder if you can, like, not max out everyone. You look so serious. And adorably terrified. I can't imagine why. Well, money does solve everything. So let me just pay you now. Okay! Oh dear. How much was it again? Oh, I have to remember. I uh, see. Could you just cheat and check the, um, text log? Yeah. You don't remember this part. Are you trying to cheat? Oh ho 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 ho. No, no, of course not, game. I'm not trying to cheat. Well, why would I do that? Meanwhile, using Manly's power of time travel, he traveled back to Timeland further back for the one that fucked him from cheating. And then using his forever strengthening of time travel, he went back to the future again. To come to the number of 36,250. It was definitely 36,250. What if she thinks I'm rude for calling her on it? Do you remember? Um, yeah. Oh, so money-minded. Yeah! I mean, no. Hmm, having a bit of trouble there. I mean... What if, what if instead of money, you just owed me a favor or something? Aya, shut up! I don't say this too often. Quiet! Let me take the wheel, alright? I'm your inner, um... I'm like the shoulder... The shoulder angel and devil. But I'm talking over to the angel on the other shoulder right now. An angel agrees with me. Hey, angel! Should I take the money? Yeah, he should, she should, he should take the money! Take the money! See, Angel agrees. So listen to your shoulder, um... Friendly person of horns, and take the money. A favor? Great, Aya, now you sound like a mob boss. Well, that sounds lovely. Maybe I could cook you a dinner. Just you and me and all my cooking instruments. That sounds nice. You know, I think I'll just ask for the money. Or to put it more correctly... You know... I think I'll just ask for the money. Still, it's too bad. I would have liked to make a better first impression on such a cute new student. Cute? Very. Simply adorable. Especially when you're nervous. That look of distress just makes me want to... tease you more and more. Uh, w w no, I, I don't. Anyways, it was a pleasure meeting you, I. Don't be a stranger and just let me know if you ever need someone taken care of. Taken care of? Yeah. I always like trying to brighten people's days. Just let me know if anyone you need needs a you need to pick me up. That includes you too. Thanks, I think. It can't be that bad. They like money. Okay, Katsumi, we'll be going now. Come on, Aya. Let's go somewhere a little quieter for your next stop. Okay, let's go. See you around, Aya. And remember, keep this a secret. If you tell anyone, I'll know. Yes, ma'am. See you later, Katsumi. Oh, I forgot about the money again. Oh look, that's another water fountain right there. This school has a lot of water fountains, doesn't it? Sure does. Wait, that might be the same water fountain from earlier. Oh. Anyway, up ahead is the school cafeteria. Wanna go inside? 
No, I'm good. No point to dampen the mood inside there with my gloomy presence. In that case, let's... Out of the way! Who's this? Keep on going. With an inkling of surprise or hesitation, Kaede steps through the side. A purple object hurtles towards me, unimpeded. Ha! Huh? Before I register what's going on, I'm knocked back into my behind. The smaller girl also falls, face planting into the ground. Oh, are you okay? Oh god, it's Chuni. No! I'm utterly defeated! At the very hour when the world needs me most! Sorry. This is Nozamine, the school's number one preoccupational hazard. Don't worry, your reflexes will improve over time. Foolish mortal! You dare speak of me as merely some obstacle! I'm no mere cog in this loathsome false paradigm. If you must address me, use my proper title. Uh, what was it again? Was it cursed? Uh, no, a cursed harbinger of density? The accursed harbinger of destiny. I feel like you're gonna ask me this later, so like, I'm gonna remember this for once. Look, see, I'm learning. I'm picking up on this. The destroyer of false eternity. You're gonna ask me that too. I, I feel, I feel that's... That's gonna come up on the test, and I'm gonna be ready for it. The Dark Champion of Euphonian Realms. Yep, gonna be on the test. Cower when you hear my name. The Great Nozamine. Tremble before my ship. That's some that's some technique. Oh my, that's one I haven't heard before. You've been working on a little bit, haven't you? I don't think that's the right conjugation, though. It shouldn't be euphonic. What? What? what silence, mortal? Y you must have misheard me. Um, are you fine now? No, I am on a secret mission. I cannot afford to fail. The fate of the world depends on it. Oh, wait a minute. Tissue, my greatest rival. Me? You have returned after millennia in exile. My sworn sister, my former ally, my soul lingering regret. Sorry, have we met before? Oh gods, have you forgotten me? Do you no longer hold dear that promise we made at the Temple of Harmony? No, that was the Temple of Chaos. Temple of Chaos, I see you misremember. I... Do you truly not remember anything of your former life? Hit by truck. Um, I was hit by a truck and got amnesia. Of course! Only a late game player like you would max out your level and get transported to another world. How oh, the final boss of this one. Do not go punching the teacher again. It was to merely enhance my abilities and gain experience points. I think you need some leveling up on your common sense stat. Sure, you must at least remember one of my illustrious tiles you helped me earn. Hmm, I didn't get any love points for that. I'm gonna reload. You think that the truck one would have been, like, the positive one? Because, like, that sounds the most tuny, right? But no. I think I remember, actually. You drew! Tru truly! Did we go to the same school? Maybe when we were much younger? Of course. Ah, oh, that makes much more sense. We both trained for a hundred years under the stewardship of the great lion turtle. I am lost again. We were the greatest enemies turned allies, turned rivals towards enemies, turned toward friends. No, I mean, it's a bit energetic, as you can tell. Turned fusion team, turned arch rivals. But alas, all those memories have faded for you. Like petals falling from a sakura tree. Surely you must at least remember one of my illustrious titles that you helped me earn. This one? Um, one of them was the Destroyer of False Eternity or something, right? Precisely. Surely if you remember that, then all oh, is lost. Well, are you taking notes too? Yeah. Taking notes. Uh, never mind. Um, I'm pretty sure you're mistaking me for somebody else. Nonsense! Clearly your reincarnations over the years have taken no toll. Yeah, I think I'm on my, like... You know, I lost count of mine. No, really, I think... You doubt my cosmic gifts and mystic arts. Very well. A simple demonstration should suffice. You're gonna want to brace yourself. But why? I'll tell you later. Worry not. I'm well aware of my rival's martial prowess. I shall simply read your very mind. 
close your eyes. Think very clearly. Think of an object, perhaps. Manly. Mm, yes. I can see you're thinking of something nourishing. Um. Hey, I mean, someone's gonna make a comment about me saying that now. Well, so it's new canon for the manly canon. The Disc of Prophecy, divided eight pyramids of power. Pizza, she's talking about pizza. Um, actually, I was thinking of manly. Manly! <laughs> I was totally doing that, yep. Pizza. Oh, I was actually was thinking of pizza. You guessed right. I I, I did. I mean, I mean, of course, I I, I did. Uh, just as expected of a being as powerful as I. That's a first. Maybe someday you'll have to learn such feats from me. Um, sure. Y you see, I I knew you were actually thinking of pizza because. Um, I uh, helped her out. Um, is it because you need help? Oh, trust me, we've tried. Help! My arch rival. I shall never stoop to such levels. Not since our fated duel top. Okay, I'll reload it in. You're weak. Now, clearly, it's because you are lack training. Have you forgotten? One must endure harsh environments, become a true master of explosions? Or something like that? Don't encourage her. Of course! How could I have forgotten? You're not just a master of concealing magic, but also reverse of magic to drain my... I knew Shanna skip breakfast. Swan, sister! I can see your memory is recovering already. Soon we shall shatter the heavens before. Now we already did that last weekend. Shatter the heavens? This reminds me of my comrade and her powers of self-concealment. You and I cannot detect her hidden presence when she's at her full focus. By our powers combined, we shall be unstoppable. But, but, but for now, I, I have a duel to attend in the cafeteria. Totally unrelated to the pizza. Um, farewell or something? Oh. Wait, what? Did you just... You just, you just, uh... You, you know what, never mind. The purple girl turned on her heel and dashed off, arms trailing behind her. Is she gonna be okay? I mean, as long as that ultra lands, she'll be okay. If it whiffs... God help her. Don't worry, she's always like that. Flint energetic, isn't she? Yeah. Pizza, huh? Was that a weird thing to be thinking about? Oh, not at all. I just find it interesting. Wait, what are you writing down? Nothing. On with the tour. Are you trying to check if I'm cheating? Because I am. And here's the art room. Coyote gestures around the room. It's still and quiet. And mostly empty, like my soul, with large windows that are letting in the morning light. See, I never miss a beat. Oh, it looks kind of nice, actually. Oh, do you do art? Oh, no, it just seems peaceful, I guess. This is gonna be the last, um, the last character I think they're introducing now. Well, normally there's at least one or two students in here, finishing up art projects and things like that, so it's a little more lively. Seems like it's a little empty right now, like my soul. Empty, like my soul, right now? I give Kaede a confused look, and then glance over at the girl who was already in the room when we entered. She turned around to look at us, taking down her brush and cocking her head to the side. Her face is expressionless. Oh, um, sorry to interrupt. The silent girl shakes her head in what I assume is a forgiving manner, then goes back to painting, as I make a save point. Interrupt? Oh, I was talking to the other girl. Whatever girl. Oh, oh, they're not a ghost, are they? I look back and forth between the girl by the window and Kaede. You don't see anyone over there? Where? Maximum power, Goku! You really can't see her? Oh, I get it. You must be seeing something I can't. Is loosening a normal occurrence for you? Um, not particularly. Can you help me out here and say something? Great. 
Are you feeling alright, Aya? If you want, I can show you the most efficient route to the nurse's office again. We can make it like a pop quiz, where you'll have to point out everything. I've shown you along the way. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'm feeling fine. Saying this can be really? Maybe there's something wrong with your glasses. Um, I don't think so. I got them replaced just recently. Well, um, uh... I glanced nervously over at the other girl. Still painting. She does seem to be interested in making herself be noticed by Kaede. I need to think of a way to show her what I'm talking about. How about I try showing you what I mean by drawing it? Oh, I'd love to see that. You look like you'd be a talented illustrator. I'll try. Say it again. Am I gonna actually have to, like, detailedly draw her? It's time to draw. Try your best to draw the mysterious green girl so Kaede knows what you're talking about. Or don't try. I don't know, I'm not your real dad. Wait, what? Minigame your payments, Mr. Have fun. Um. Oh boy. Should we use. This is gonna look like an MS Paint drawing. Wait, do we have even, like, do we have an eraser or something? No. So it's like. You gotta, like, do it right. Okay. Alright. There we go. Masterpiece. It's good, right? Um, that sure is, uh, something. I get it, though. I, I do. You were trying to draw. Uh... Abstract imagery. You really don't need to rub it in. And what do you call this masterpiece? This is probably the actual porn part. Love, uh. Honestly, I might bring this home. Do you think there's any galleries I accept love? Um, yeah. Really? Probably. Maybe. More not galleries, at least. Love exhibit might be a bit tough to sell, though. Never mind, I can't think of a way to get her nose the other girl. Shizuka. Okay. I think I'll name it Shizuka. Oh, now you mentioned it, it does look like Shizuka. A little bit, kinda. Maybe look cross-eyed facing a 45 degree angle. So that's pretty amazing. Have you met Shizuka before? Um, not really. So it was just a coincidence? I guess. Never mind, I can't think of a way to get her to know us the other girl. Hey, well, I'm sure Shizuka wouldn't mind teaching you the basics. She's a member of the art club, after all. So this is the one that doesn't talk. She usually spends her time here, but it doesn't seem like she's here right now. What does she look like, out of curiosity? Oh, she's very distinct. She wears a bowstring instead of a regular tie and a beret. Gives off real artsy vibes. You can't miss her. Right. Can't miss her. Well, I suppose we should get going, then. There's only a few places left to see. Alright. Kaede backs out of the door and I move to follow her. Taking one last look back over my shoulder, the painter girl gives a gentle wave goodbye. As the painter girl turns back to face her painting, I step out of the room and close the door behind me. Anyway, I think that's all for the tour. I hope you know the school in and out now. Water fountains and all. Thank you. I'll never go thirsty again. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Though, um, if you like, I could show you some of my favorites in the library. Hmm? Your favorites? Uh, n n nothing, I mean, n not nothing, but n not anything really important. I just thought we could maybe take a look at some of my favorite books together. What, like, t together? Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be um. Romantic relationships aren't really against the rules, but I, I know you just got here just really pretty and I... Hmm, trying to one-up the competition, huh? There you are, new girl! Wh who are you? I'm about to be your new girlfriend, cutie! W girlfriend? Girlfriend? 
I've been hearing about the super cute new transfer student all day, and the rumors are true. I'm not gonna let those other girls get their hands on you first. But rumors? I don't even know you! <laughs> we can fix that easily. Come here and let's get to know each other. Wait, I'm not really comfortable. Hey, hey, personal space, stay back! Just let it happen, cutie. No! No! Oh, you, yeah, well, there's some voice acting. You sound exactly like Imagine. Far away from you. Uh, hey, no running in the halls. I don't really have a choice at the moment. Ha, thought you could have a race without me. It's not a race. Not anymore, because first place is mine. Ha, my fated rival. Destiny draws us together once more. I see that you're in the middle of training for your final battle against me. I'm in the middle of training for my life. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, there's no need to be so... That's fine. You're a better character anyways. I, uh, I thought I told you not to tell anyone. I didn't tell anyone! Why are you running away? Uh, and you're also chasing me. Great, thanks. I said no running in the halls. I'll report all of you. Back off, she's mine. Those are big words coming from someone in stabbing distance. I'm okay with that. I think Random Girl is just gonna be a silhouette. Like, that, like that's that. They look like that. That's literally them. I, I need to get out of here. Here's why: they're colored differently than the other students. The whole school is gonna be after me at this rate. Anyway, we've caught up to the present now. This is right about where we left off. I see. So that's why you were hiding behind a water fountain? Yes! All this attention, all these confessions, it's all too much! Besides, Kahiri said this water fountain is the one everyone usually forgets about. That is why I usually use it. I should just drop out and become a hermit now. Really? I would have killed for cute girls climbing all over me at your age. What's got you so scared? I don't want to hurt anyone. I want friends, but not if it means having to break everyone's hearts. Don't you think breaking hearts and having your heart broken is just a normal part of life? Maybe. All relationships, whether they're romantic or platonic, have their ups and downs. You're still young, so you should try not to worry so much. You sound like you're speaking from experience. Oh, I used to be a former, uh, dating sim protag, you know? I had to say goodbye once. It was heartbreaking, but necessary. Oh? We had so many good memories together, but it was time to move on. What was she like? She was beautiful. <laughs> I get embarrassed just thinking about her. I mean, where do we even start? She had it all together. All-wheel drive, hand crank windows, lever interior. You're talking about a car, aren't you? If only the fuel efficiency was better. Maybe I could have worried at work. Have you seen today's economy? Oh boy. I feel like this kind of when it comes to your whole life of ice thing. It's all related. If I hadn't said goodbye to that car, I never would have gotten my convertible, and my niece still wouldn't have a car of her own. Sometimes a little bit of heartbreak is needed for things to move forward. Right. I can't really tell him the real reason. I can't tell anyone. Hey, um, thanks. You don't have to thank me. You're the one who decided to open up about how you were feeling, Carr. I guess I did, didn't I? You've got plenty of time to figure out what you want, Manly. And I'm confident you'll make the right choices for you. Wait, what? Thanks. Wait, did you just call me Manly? See you in class. Just when I thought this day was starting to get better. Does this haircut really change my look that much? Or is this school just full of strange girls? 
I can barely look people in the eye when they talk. And I'm always scared of saying the wrong thing. It's just impossible. I don't even know if I want a girlfriend. Oh, guess that's a bell for class. Gotta hurry. I quickly make my way back to the client classroom. Pause a moment in the doorway and take a deep breath, muttering to myself. Okay, just relax. Gotta make a good first impression. I'm not gonna be the nervous, gloomy kid again. It's a new school, a new class, new hair, a new me. Big smile. I force my mouth into a smile. I can feel my long-neglected face muscles struggle to take on an unfamiliar shape. I open the door and step inside. Sorry I'm late. I had to look for the classroom a bit. Oh, you're here. I'm glad. I was about to have you mark you as tardy. Ah, oh, it seems fate has moving our paths together once more, my sworn rival. Well, well. If it ain't second place. Nice hustle out there. Too bad you're up against the best. Oh, this is going to be entertaining. Cutie, isn't this perfect? Having you my new girlfriend in the same class? Come sit by me, so we can know each other up close and personal. Hey, get away, short stack. I can't see my girlfriend. You, uh, uh, I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not anyone's girlfriend. Oh, don't be like that, sweetie kins. You're breaking my heart. Come on, don't you want a girlfriend who's this cute? It has no detail. Stop, I don't want any kind of girlfriend. I don't want to date anyone. I, I... Title drop. <laughs> Never mind. I just want to be single. I just want to be single. So I guess that's it for the end of the uh, pilot. It's called the pilot episode in Achievements. It's not like I wanted to be a studio or anything. You baka. Thank you for laying I just want to be single. Demo version 1.2. Launching a Kickstarter campaign in March 2022. It's the Kickstarter actually is already going on, by the way. Uh, they've actually already been funded fully already. I think they might have some stretch goals or stuff like that. You're welcome to check it out. Links are always in the description. So we have a bunch of stars here. What do we unlock? The achievement's literally called, what did you unlock? Oh, yes, you get to hear your talk? Hello. Uh. Yes. So that's it for the I just want to be single demo, or prologue, or prototype. I'm not really quite sure how this is going to stack up in the main game. It may not even be in the main game. It could just be its own thing. Who knows? Uh, it is a solid opener. I, I can see why it's already, like, been funded. Generally, I think your, your best... If you're going to start a Kickstarter or anything like that, to kind of, like, get a game off the ground, you're an indie dev. If you got, like, a strong enough demo, usually you're in a pretty good spot. Um, and I don't mean, like, a five-minute, like, Jump scare happens demo, like a meaty cut of the game kind of thing. Like Cooking Companions was another one I played. Uh, that started as like a, it's only kind of unique demo and then it got a Kickstarter and then it came out. I did, once again, like I just said this, right? I did actually like what I played. Uh, I'm not sure if the actual mechanics are in the game yet because we got close to filling the bar uh, for the one character, but the other ones were a little bit more distant from it. And I'm pretty sure I did all the right decisions, so. 
That might not be a feature yet. That's probably going to be more of a thing in the main game. Because there's even a difficulty choice. And right now, it's just for, like, a joke. It's, you know, just an achievement. Um, but that means in the main game, that meta game I'm assuming, is going to evolve a bit more. So, I'm I'm curious where it's going to go. Obviously, we writing-wise, it's fine. We have, like, a kind of humorous uh, story, you know, a parody. There might be some tragedy here and there towards the end, I'm sure. Or some, like, drama. But uh, we're very early in, so I'm not going to comment necessarily. Comment on the story, we just can only comment on the characters we see in the archetypes. But the biggest thing I would like to see, it's kind of already in, but I'm just saying in a sense of uh, if you complete this whole, like, let's say they complete the game, it comes out and everything, and it just kind of keeps that consistent writing and humor, all right, I mean, it'll be a fine enough good game, or visual novel anyways. But if they don't, if the mechanic of the moving the bar and whatever mechanics they add, if they get kind of like, because there's a bit of a trap some of these games have where that the mechanic gets kind of sidelined a bit, uh, I'll use an example of a game that's nothing like this, but uh, Who's Lila, which is also a very, very good game. Had the cool face mechanic, is used very heavily at the start, and a bit of the middle, and then just kind of drops off completely. So I'm hoping on any eventual full release that you don't necessarily see the uniqueness, like I said, drop out, and it just becomes a visual novel. Uh, aside from that, how I would rank the uh, girls we've met. Hmm, on pure design, I, I do like Shark Teeth. Uh, I have to see more of Shark Teeth if I like them. The the one that like throws money at you, the, I like them quite a bit. I didn't. I don't necessarily like their design because I thought they were gonna be like a normal character. And they're like, oh no, they're a little interesting when you actually start like seeing them. So, if Shark Teeth just turns out to be a sports anime manga, then it'd be the situation where I would probably go um, Money Knife first, and. I'm gonna make a guess. I'm gonna say Money Knife might end up being the most popular character. That's gonna be my. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably monitor the comments a bit to see how that kind of stacks up. Hey, you know, say hey, who your favorite character is in the comments if you want. I'd be a little curious. It's kind of like when I played Helltaker. But I, I have a suspicion Money Knife is gonna be the breakout star out of everyone. Um, there, will, there will be people who like Chuni, but Chuni is Chuni. I'm a little very curious about the one that doesn't talk though. We've seen so little of the, the, the non-talking one, except, and they even got like a little like Easter eggs and you get all the stars, that I'm wondering like, what's going on there? Are they literally just not going to talk? Uh, and if we add the other girl, um, that's just a black silhouette, black silhouette pigtails, because I don't remember anyone's names, because I don't remember names very easily, then she might be pretty competitive too. I, I'd be maybe, maybe tempting to like go her route first if she has a route. It's, it's a toss-up. School council girls might end up being a little bit buried. At least in my choices. That would be like the last I would pick. Just because it seems like she's like a normal character in a, a story that's just over the top. But who knows? Maybe she's gonna have some gimmicks or maybe she's gonna remain a normal character and that's gonna be her like standout flaw. Anyway. So that's it for I Just Want To Be Single demo or prototype once again. If you like what you see, check out the Kickstarter or the Steam page. But aside from that, thank you all for watching me play. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.